Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the chairman of the Transitional Sovereignty Council in Sudan, General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep rooted historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Sudan, affirming the kingdom's keenness on bolstering cooperation and coordination for the interests of the two countries and their people, as well as the Arab people. His Majesty wished General Al Burhan success in his efforts to achieve the aspirations of the Sudanese people for peace, stability, growth and prosperity. For his part, General Al Burhan expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for his support to the strong brotherly ties and the development they witness in all fields to enhance cooperation. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the horse racing festival for the Cup of His Highness the Crown Prince, which is being held at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club track in Rafa area in Sakhir, kicked off at 1 p.m. today. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club was keen to prepare the race, while the various participating stables were ready to equip and prepare a selection of the strongest horses and champions. His Royal Highness the Crown Princess Cup race has witnessed continued progress in recent years with the aim of providing an opportunity for various stables to participate in addition to enriching competitions in all stages of the race. Under the patronage and in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, POC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the activities of the Bahrain Sports Day commenced at Bahrain International Circuit, BIC, in the presence of a large turnout of citizens and residents. The event was attended by the Vice Chairman of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs and Deputy President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Information, Ramzan Linaimi, the Minister of Social Development, Usam Al Asfour, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, and a number of senior officials and heads of sports federations and clubs. His Highness Sheikh Khalid witnessed several sports activities organized by sports federations celebrating Bahrain Sports Day. His Highness launched the Let's Play application, which was created by Bahrain Sports Federations. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the Sports Day became one of the essential national events that embody the Bahraini society's cohesion and reflects the positive interaction and the motivation of a practice of sports. He added that all citizens and residents Residents are keen on marking the sports day through organizing a series of sporting and awareness activities with wide official and popular participation, which contributed to increasing awareness on the importance of sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that holding the Sports Day is an invitation for all segments of society to practice sports and make it a lifestyle and a daily practice for their vital role in maintaining mental and physical health. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizers of the main activities at BIC and all the participating federations hailing the positive participation of all government institutions.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met at Gbaybia Palace with Kazakh Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Mukhtar Tiliberdi in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture Wa'il Limbarak, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Mohammed Al Kaabi, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad Al Malki, and the accompanying delegation. The Deputy Premier affirmed the significance of boosting cooperation between Bahrain and Kazakhstan. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah welcomed his Kazakh counterparts, stressing Bahrain's keenness on bolstering bilateral cooperation. The two sides discussed the means of utilizing the two countries' gains through exchanging visits. They also reviewed regional and international developments and issues of common concerns. For his part, the Kazakh deputy prime minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the gracious welcome and hospitality, affirming his country's keenness on fostering bilateral cooperation. The deputy prime minister held a lunch banquet in honor of his Kazakh counterpart and his accompanying delegation. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, participated in Bahrain Sports Day, where, the, where he praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to sports and the initiatives they witnessed that embody their role in society. Linaimi affirmed the ministry's pride in Bahrain Sports Day, which reflects the kingdom's keenness on developing sports led by His Majesty the King for their role in developing human resources and supporting the comprehensive development march. He praised the resolution issued by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to allocate a half working day to enable employees at ministries and public establishments to practice sports. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted to highlight the national sports event, promote its activities, cover them through various media platforms and raise awareness on the importance of this day. Upon the directives of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan participated in the activities of the Bahrain Sports Day organized by the Ministry. The Chief of Public Security affirmed that the Ministry's participation in the activities embodies effective community partnership and promotes sports as a value that has a main role in boosting public health. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his directives to allow all government staff to participate in the activities of the Sports Day. He noted the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Sports Day and his encouragement to practice sports, hailing the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who is an inspiration to the youth. Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan commended the support of the Minister of Interior to Sports which resulted in the success of the plans to promote sports among the ministry's affiliates and increase awareness on the importance of fitness. The Chief of Public Security also expressed thanks to the Public Security Sports Association, the governorates and all the directorates of the ministry whose affiliates participated in the sports activities. He honored the participants in the sports competitions and wished them success. And as part of Bahrain Sports Day activities to activate the community partnership strategy, the affiliates of the Ministry of Interior's directorates and the governorates of the kingdom participated in a number of sporting events. The participation of the Ministry of Interior in the Bahrain Sports Day stems from the role of sports in enhancing public health. The Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein, held a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House. The two sides discussed during the meeting ways to strengthen the strategic partnership and friendly relations between Jordan and the United States by expanding cooperation in various fields. They also discussed joint efforts to enhance stability in the region in addition to latest developments and efforts to reach political solutions to crises in the region. They also spoke to Iraq's Prime Minister by phone.
Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz, and France Minister of Foreign Affairs Catherine Colonna discussed ongoing regional and global developments in a meeting held in Riyadh. The Saudi Crown Prince and French Minister discussed bilateral relations between the Kingdom and France and ways to enhance them in various fields. They also reviewed the efforts taken by both countries to deal with regional and international developments. Saudi Arabia and France have a long-lasting ties that dates back to 1926. The kingdom is considered a close ally to France that plays a key role in maintaining regional security, peace and stability, with strong economic, military and political coordination exhibited between the two countries that has spanned for decades. The King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center, KS Relief, distributed 600 food packages to those affected by the floods in Afghanistan. In cooperation with the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or IC, KS Relief helped 3,600 people in need in the war-torn country. In Yemen, the relief center delivered 70 tons and 299 kilograms of food in the uh, country's Taiz government. KS Relief also provided 500 food parcels to underprivileged people in Sudan and 400 for pa food packages to people in Pakistan's Sindh province. Similarly, Niger's capital, Nemi, received a shipment from the organization containing 500 food packages. Meanwhile, the relief center gave 1,060 Syrian and Palestinian refugees in Lebanon vouchers to purchase winter clothing as part of the Kenef project.